morning to all. I am Dr. G. Sudha, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, ADM College for Women, Autonomous Nagapatinam. Today we are going to the topic on canonical and standard form of general linear programming problem. General linear programming problem. Let Z be a linear function r power n defined by maximize or minimize Z equal to c1 x1 plus c2 x2 etc. c n x n where c j are constants. Let a i j be an m by n real matrix and b1 b2 etc. b m be a set of constraints such that a11 x1 plus a12 x2 etc. a1 and x n less than or equal to or equal to or greater than or equal to b1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 etc. a21 x1 less than or equal to or equal to or greater than or equal to b2 etc. a m1 x1 plus a m2 x2 etc. a m n x n less than or equal to or equal to or greater than or equal to b m and the non-negativity restrictions x1 x2 etc. x n is greater than or equal to 0. Definition of linear programming problem. The mathematical technique used to obtain an optimum solution in resource allocation problems such as Pro, uh, production planning that is a ma mathematical model or technique for efficient or effective utilization of limited resources to achieve organization objectives maximize profit or minimize cost solution a set of values x1 x2 etc xn which satisfies the constraints of the lpp is called its solution feasible solution any solution to lpp which satisfies the non negativity restrictions of the lpp is called its feasible solution next let us go for objective function. The linear function is that is equal to c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus c3 x3 etc. c n x n which is to be minimized or maximized is called the objective function of the general LPP. Next let us go for uh, constraints. The following in equations are called the constraints of the general LPP. a11 x1 plus a12 x2 etc. a1 and x1 is not equal to or equal to or greater than or equal to b1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 etc. a21 x1 is not equal to or equal to or greater than or equal to b2 etc. Like the same a m1 x1 plus a m2 x2 etc. a m1 x1 is not equal to or equal to or greater than or equal to b m. Next optimum solution. Any feasible solution which optimizes that is maximizes or minimizes. The objective function of the LPP is called its optimum solution or optimal solution. Next slack variables. If the constraints of the general LPP be summation a i j x j less than or equal to b i i running from 1 to 3 etc k and j running from 1 to n then the non negativity non negative variables s i which are introduced to convert the inequalities that is the equation 1 to the in e equalities are called slack variables the value of these variables can be interpreted as the amount of used resource summation a i j x j plus s i is equal to b i Next is sur surplus variables. If the constraints of the general LPP be summation a i j x j minus s i is equal to b i, i running from k plus 1, k plus 2, etc., and j running from 1 to n, then the non negative variables s i which are introduced to convert the inequalities, that is the equation 1, the previous one, to the equalities are called surplus variables. The value of these variables can be interpreted as the amount of over and as over the required level. Canonical and gen standard forms of LPP. After the formulation of LPP, the next step is to obtain its solution. But before any method is used to find its solution, the problem must be presented in a suitable form. Two forms are dealt with here the canonical and the standard form. First, let us go for the canonical form. The general linear programming problem can always be expressed in the following form maximize z is equal to c1x1 plus c2x2, etc., cnxn. Subject to the constraints a11 x1 plus a12 x2 etc. a1 and x1 is not equal to b1 etc. a m1 x1 plus a m2 x2 etc. a m and x1 is less than or equal to b m and the non negativity restrictions x1 x2 etc. x1 greater than or equal to 0. Form of LPP is called the canonical form. In matrix notation, the canonical form of LPP can be expressed as maximum z equal to cx. That is, this is the objective function subject to ax less than or equal to b. This one is the constraint and x greater than or equal to 0 is the non-negativity restrictions. Where c is equal to uh, row matrix of c1, c2, etc. cn. a is equal to square matrix of a11, a12, etc. a11, a12, a22, etc. a21, etc. The last row m, a m1, a m2, etc. a m n. And x can be taken as the column matrix x1, x2, etc. xn. And b can be taken as b1, b2, etc. b m. Next, the characteristics of the general form. The objective function is of the maximization type. Minimize f of x equal to minus 
maximize of minus f of x or minimize z is equal to minus maximize minus z. Second point, the all constants are of less than or equal to type except for the non-negative restrictions. An in, uh, inequality of greater than or equal to type can be changed to an equality of the inequality of the type less than or equal to type by multiplying both sides of the inequality by minus 1. Next, all variables are non-negative. A variable which is unrestricted in sign in is equivalent to the difference between two non-negative variables. Thus, if xj is unrestricted in sign, it can be replaced by xj dash minus xj double dash. Where xj dash and xj double dash are both non-negative, that is xj is equal to xj dash minus xj double dash, where xj dash greater than or equal to 0 and X, xj double dash also greater than or equal to 0. Next, to the standard form, the general linear programming problem in the form maximum z equal to c1x1 plus c2x2 etc. cn xn subject to the constraints is equal to equation type, is now, it is known as the standard form. In matrix notation, the standard form of LPP can be expressed as maximize or minimize z is equal to cx, that is the objective function, subject to the constraints ax equal to b and x greater than or equal to 0, where c is the row matrix of c1, c2 etc. cn. A equal to square matrix of the form A11, A12, etc. A1, A1, A21, A22, etc. A2, N, next AMN, etc. AM1, AM2, etc. AMN. And X can be taken as uh, column matrix of X1, X2, etc. Xn. And B is equal to column matrix of B1, B2, etc. BM. Next, characteristics of the standard form. All the constraints are expressed in the form of equations except for the non negative restrictions. All variables are of non-negative. Objective function is of maximization type. The right hand side of each constraint equation is non-negative. The inequalities can be changed into equation by introducing a non-negative variable on the left hand side of each such constraint. It is to be added slack variable if the constraint is of less than or equal to type and, uh, and subtracted surplus variable if the constraint is of greater than or equal to type. Problems based on canonical, canonical form. First problem. Uh, it is the following LPP in its canonical form. Maximize z is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 subject to the constraints 4x1 minus 3x2 plus x3 less than or equal to 6, x1 plus 5x2 minus 7x3 greater than or equal to minus 4, x1 x3 greater than or equal to 0 and x2 is unrestricted in sign. Solution. As x2 is unrestricted, so x2 can be taken as x2, x2 dash minus x2 double dash where x2 dash minus x2 double dash greater than or equal to 0, the given LPP becomes maximum z equal to 2x1 plus 3 into x2 dash minus x2 double dash plus x3 subject to the constraints 4x1 minus 3 into x2 dash minus x2 double dash plus x3 is than or equal to 6, x1 plus 5 into x2 dash minus x2 double dash minus 7x3 greater than or equal to minus 4. Multiplying the second constraint by minus 1, then we get minus x1 minus 5 into x2 dash minus x2 double dash plus 7x3 less than or equal to 4 and all the variables are greater than or equal to 0. Again problem, express the following LPP in its canonical form. Maximum z equal to 3x1 plus x2 subject to the constraints x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to minus 5, 3x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 6 and x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0. Solution, convert the first constraint into less than or equal to type, then multiply both sides by minus 1. The given LPP becomes maximum z is equal to 3x1 plus x2. Subject to the constraints, minus x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 5, 3x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 6 and x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0. Third problem, this one is the minimize z is equal to x1 plus 4x2. Subject to the constraints 3x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 5, 2x1 plus 4x2 greater than or equal to minus 7 and x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0. Solution, convert the second constraint into less than or equal to type then multiply both sides by minus 1. The given LPP becomes maximize z star is equal to minus x1 minus 4x2. Subject to the constraints 3x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 5, 2x1 minus 4x2 less than or equal to 7 and the variables x1, x2 greater than or equal to 0. Since the objective function is of minimization type, so convert this into maximization type and multiply throughout by minus 1. Next problem based on standard form. First one, express the following LPP in its standard form. 
maximum is that equal to 4x1 plus 2x2 plus 6x3 subject to the constraints 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3 less greater than or equal to 6 3x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 8 6x1 minus 4x2 plus x3 less than or equal to 10 and x1 x2 x3 greater than or equal to 0 solution by introducing the surplus variable x4 and slack variable x5 the standard form of lpp becomes maximum z equal to 4x1 plus 2x2 plus 6x3 plus 0x4 plus 0x5 subject to the constraint subject to the equations 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 2x3 minus x4 plus 0x5 is equal to 6 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 0x3 plus 0x4 plus x5 is equal to 8 6x1 and minus 4x2 plus x3 plus 0x4 plus x5 is equal to 10. And x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5 greater than or equal to 0. Next second one, reduce the following LPP in its standard form. Maximum is that is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 subject to the constraints 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 greater than or equal to 6. 3x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 8. 7x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 greater than or equal to 9 x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0 and x3 is unrestricted. Solution, since the first and third constraint are inequalities with greater than or equal to sign, we introduce surplus variables x4 greater than or equal to 0 and x5 greater than or equal to 0 in respect to inequalities. Further, since x3 is unrestricted in sign, you can write x3 can be taken as x3 dash minus x3 double dash where x3 dash minus x3 double dash greater than or equal to 0. Thus, the constraints of the LPP becomes 2x1 plus x2 plus 2 into x3 dash minus x3 double dash minus x4 is equal to 6. Instead of x3, we can take x3 dash minus x3 double dash. Next, 3x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 8 and 7x1 plus 3x2 plus 5 into x3 dash minus x3 double dash minus x5 is equal to 9. The objective function will be Maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 6 into x3 dash minus x3 double dash. The given LPP in its standard form is maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 plus 6x3 dash minus 6x3 double dash plus 0x4 plus 0x5. Subject to the constraints 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 dash minus 2x3 double dash minus x4 plus 0x5 is equal to 6. 6x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 8. 7x1 minus 3x2 plus 5x3 dash minus 5x3 double dash plus 0x4 minus x5 is equal to 9. And the variables x1 to x5, x3 dash and x3 double dash also is greater than or equal to 0. Thank you.